Hey guys, I'm Abhishek from Plug-in India. All of us at Plug-in India own only electric vehicles and create content for the EV community. In this episode, we'll talk about how battery recycling is happening in 2022 and witnessing the genesis of the battery circular economy in action. Panasonic will begin using copper from recycled batteries supplied by Redwood Materials to manufacture new lithium-ion batteries at its factory in Nevada later this year. According to TechCrunch, the first recycled material from Redwood will be copper foil, a vital component of the anode side of a battery cell. The anode is typically made of copper foil coated with graphite. Redwood will begin, begin producing the copper foil in the first half of 2022 and Panasonic will start using it to make new lithium-ion cells by the end of the year. Redwood Materials announced plans to build a $2 billion factory that will produce cathodes and anode foils with a projected annual volume of 100 gigawatt hours worth of materials by 2025. That's enough batteries made from recycled materials to power 1 million electric cars. The announcement marks Panasonic's push to use more recycled materials, which in turn helps it reduce the amount of newly mined raw materials it must rely on. Redwood Materials was founded by former Tesla CTO J.B. Straubel in 2017 with the mission of creating a circular supply chain. And we are glad J.B. left Tesla to start this important company. Because we are sick and tired of listening to petrol heads complain about batteries. Have you ever heard of a similar effort to take the exhaust smoke from pollution cars and try to create petrol out of it? No, of course you haven't. Redwood Materials recycles scrap from battery cell production as well as batteries from cell phones, laptop computers, power tools, power banks, scooters and electric bikes. It extracts materials like cobalt, nickel and lithium which it supplies back to Panasonic and other customers to make new cells. The objective is to create a closed loop system that will ultimately help reduce the cost of batteries and offset the need for mining. So what has this to do with India? Well, we have great news in that regard. Atero Recycling, India's largest electronic waste recycling firm, said on Saturday that it plans to invest 300 crore rupees in ramping up its lithium-ion battery recycling capacity to 11,000 metric tons per annum by October 2022. Atero says that their process is an efficient mix of mechanical and hydrometallurgical technologies that ensure low CO2 emission. They also recycle close to 98% of their batteries and are cell chemistry agnostic. They can process LFP, LCO, LTO and various NMC chemistry cells in India. So there you go. Whenever petrol heads and anti-EV advocates scream at the top of their lungs that making batteries for EVs will create lots of pollution, conveniently ignoring the massive pollution caused for the past 100 years by the fossil fuel industry, you can talk about this. Hopefully, news of successful battery recycling operations like Redwood Materials and Atero will stop their constant yapping. Your responsibility is to share this video with them. Thank you for watching. Do write in the comments below on your thoughts on battery recycling and the circular economy. And I will see you all next week. Thank you and goodbye.